Hello friends, welcome back to another uh, tutorial of USMLE um, topics. Today I'm going to be talking about types of studies and some of the things that are related to the types of studies. And, um, and some of the other questions that can, you know, kind of lead to these kind of studies. So let's talk about the studies first. The first one is case control. Okay, sometimes it can also be mentioned as controlled study, so let's not get confused with the two, even though sometimes in a panic situation you can get confused if you are not absolutely sure. So let's just get it out of the way. Case control study is the same thing as controlled study. Okay, this is followed by cohort study. There's a lot of similarities between case control and cohort study, and that's why I color coded it and I'll talk about the difference and the similarities followed by cross-sectional study they're also called crossover study okay uh, also these are you know very very similar as soon as you hear cross they're talking about the same thing followed by twin concordance adoption study and case series study okay so let's talk about case control study what exactly is case control study Case control study is when we have a bunch of people who have a certain disease and we're looking back if, this, if they have had a certain risk factor or if there was any association with the risk factor that we're looking at with the disease. So it's kind of looking back through the medical records to see, okay, we have a bunch of people, let's say we have COPD, we want to look back if they were smokers or if if that's a variable you're looking into. So this kind of looking back is a case control study. Another term they can kind of throw, throw at you in the vignettes, it's retrospective. Retrospective is nothing but the fact of looking back, okay? So always expect retrospective with case control study. Also we're observing these cases, so they can also be called observational study. Okay, so that's case control. Now what's the difference or the similarity between case control and cohort study? The similarity is they both deal with disease and risk factor, but one we're looking back, the other we're looking in the future. So cohort study is we have a bunch of people who has a certain risk factor, we're going to study them over a certain number of years to see if they develop a certain disease in the normal population. So for example, let's say we have a bunch of smokers, we're going to study them to, to see if they have uh, COPD in the future. So this kind of looking into the future or perspective is cohort study. Now, I always used to get confused whenever they used to ask me, you know, they would sometimes you have those questions when they say um, when they directly don't say find the odds ratio or find the relative risk they would kind of you know describe what they're trying to find by words and I would never be able to figure out if they're asking for odds ratio or relative risk ratio because both of these deals with disease risk factor and probability so I found a very quick and very um, solid way to kind of differentiate between the two. If they're talking about case control, they're always talking about odds ratio. If they're talking about cohort study, they're talking about re relative risk. So what exactly is odd ratio? Odds ratio is the ratio of A divided by B divided by C divided by D. So when we equate it, it's A times D divided by C times B. I'm sure you know that, the equation part. So and this is disease positive and disease negative, risk factor positive, risk factor negative. Do not confuse, excuse me, sorry about that. Okay, so where was I? Uh, we're talking about uh, odds ratio and relative risk. So relative risk is um, also, they talk about uh, disease and exposed uh, risk factor, and they're talking about cohort study, and the equation is A divided by A plus B divided by C divided by C plus D. So you can see how the question can be very, very similar in terms of odds and relative risk. Um, so that's why it's very important to understand which one is a case control study, which one is a relative uh, cohort study to in order to determine whether they're asking about odds ratio or relative risk. 
Okay, so another thing that can, they can go on a tangent of questions. They can ask you, what is a relative risk reduction? Relative risk reduction is nothing but 1 minus relative risk. They can also ask you, what's the attributable risk? In this question, they can say what's the attributable risk or they can describe you. And in that description, if they're talking about risk factor, disease, and difference, then it's attributable risk, which is the same equation as relative risk, only the fact that in the middle there is a negative sign in attributable risk. So whenever they talk about disease group, risk factors, and they're talking about cohort study, and they're talking about the difference, what's the difference between the exposed risk factor, uh, between non-exposed and uh, you know disease, and all that kind of question is going to deal with attributable risk. Okay, when they're talking about the difference. All right, so let's uh, keep going to the next study. The next is cross-sectional study. And cross-sectional study is when they talk about a study at a certain point in time. So what's happening now or what happened that day? What happened yesterday or the day before or some point when they're talking about a certain Point. And because they're talking about a certain point, they usually ask prevalence question with it. So let's say how many HIV positive patients there is in this kind of population. So that is, you know, you can see how that can relate to right now or a certain time, or they talk about prevalence or incidence. This is also a study where they have the chi square. So you know, whenever they ask about chi-square, okay, that's cross-sectional. Cross-sectional is often um, also called cross-over. There is a slight difference, though. Sorry, my mistake. Uh, there is difference between cross-sectional and cross-over study. I had to look up, look it up one time just, just to clarify. Cross-sectional study is when we're looking at a certain point in time. Um, and crossover study is when, let's say, we're talking about um, a certain group of patients who's, you know, who are given a controlled, uh, controlled uh, experiments, or they're getting a drug, and the other group is getting a placebo. And then, after a certain amount of time, patients who are getting placebo is not going to get now going to get drug, and the patients who are getting the drug is going to get the placebo. So that's crossover. So there is a huge, huge difference there. Nothing similar. So please ignore that. Um, so cross-sectional study is when we're looking at a certain point in time. We're talking about chi-square, um, chi-square, um, chi-squares, and prevalence. And, and crossover study is when we're talking about um, a group of patients who are getting a drug and a group of patients who are getting placebo and then they're kind of switched or you know other experiments which kind of re resemble that kind of scenario so those are cross-sectional and crossover so there is a lot of similarity between case control and cohort there's a lot of you know there's no similarity between cross-sectional and crossover and other studies are twin concordance and adoption study which are you know very very um, self-explanatory Twin concordance is when twins are studies, studied, and adoption study is when we're talking about uh, adopted you know, kids versus um, biological kids and how they behave and, and the circumstances leading to, to their um, upbringing and all, all that kind of thing is adoption and twin concordance. And last but not the least is case series. Case series study is um, is several patients with no control groups. This is the one that has no control group, okay? So we, we, we do a lot of case series when we are kind of um, doing rotations. I'm sure you have done a few. So it's just when they're, you know, we're, we're just a series of cases you're studying on a certain topic with no control group. You're just kind of studying them as a general um, under a general umbrella. So that's case series. Another way of knowing whether, oh, am I oversimplifying this case study and, and not 
pointing to the right study. So one way is like, okay, if they're not case control cohort, if they're not cross-sectional crossover, or if they're not anything else, they are usually case series study with no control group. So that is very, very important. Okay, so that's about it. Um, that's all I had to say about the types of studies. I hope that helped. I'm going to post these notes onto my blog. So if you need them, they're going to be there. And leave me a comment or, you know, a correction or anything that you feel could be, uh, could be helpful to make better videos or, you know, to kind of better see the picture that I'm trying to trying to draw so I'm very open to um, constructive criticism I'm, I'm still learning and this is just my way of um, throwing it out there for other people to see what I'm learning and kind of helping uh, each other out and and that's the whole point of making all these videos anyway so thank you very much uh, for listening in and I'll see you in my next video bye for now